When I'm seeing a patient in clinic, I sometimes don't remember all of the things uh, that I need to do. And, and so the, the most basic explanation of what decision support is, is, is it's an alert that actually reminds me as a doctor what it is I'm supposed to be doing to take better care of my patient, whether that's ordering a test or providing a treatment. We, in fact, unfortunately like this so much that we sometimes create such a large volume of alerts and suggestions that uh, nurses and doctors can feel frustrated. Alert fatigue happens when clinicians continuously get these alerts, especially alerts that are not relevant to them or their patients. Um, so they continue to override them. But oftentimes that advice is important for patient safety. In my project of using explainable uh, AI to optimize clinical decision support, I'm trying to identify ways to improve alert logic and also identify potential improvements in workflows. Traditionally, when we evaluate clinical decision support alerts, we have to look through thousands of alert firings every day. But what CIR is doing is using artificial intelligence, which is really good at looking at a lot of data. I really think NLM's funding and support was key to this research. There's so much that we need to do in order to fill the important gaps in our research knowledge and be able to advance the field. This is a grant program um, from the National Library of Medicine and other agencies that allows faculty members to start off working on their research projects under um, some mentorship for a few years and then transition into an independent award to do the research that they want to do. Without the NIH NLM funding, I cannot do this project. It is very helpful for my research and also for my career. CIR has brought some really cutting edge machine learning techniques to uh, find uh, opportunities to improve our decision support. And we've already made uh, tremendous uh, strides in improving uh, the acceptability, reducing alert fatigue, and making alerts uh, more usable for our users. I think this research is gonna help us really maximize and optimize the ways in which uh, we really can unlock the potential of AI for improving health and healthcare.